Carney Ball Music Man JP BFR. And this version in particular is a Koa model. We made a few changes from the original JP6. We changed the body shape a bit, and we changed the combination of woods and tried to make a guitar that was more complex tonally. So the body is a bit larger and shaped a little bit differently, and it does not have the forearm scoop, but it has a taper back, which is equally as comfortable. It's just kind of a different approach to the forearm rest. And what we did tonally is we tried to make it more complex and rich, kind of like a deep wine is what we were thinking about. So we used a combination of great tone woods. This guitar has an alder body. It has a mahogany neck and a mahogany tone block that the pickups and the bridge are mounted directly into for a real deep tone. It has an ebony fretboard, stainless steel frets, and a koa top. Some of the other BFRs have a maple top. The result is something that not only sounds rich and beautiful, um, but also that looks beautiful. So these guitars have more of a very classy, sophisticated work of art type of look. And as far as the controls and other features, they're very similar to the original JP6. The same custom bridge and whammy bar, the DiMarzio Signature Crunch Lab and Liquifier pickups, the two humbuckers once again, the layout of the controls in the same kind of arc that works so well. And what we did with this guitar, in addition, is we put a coil tap on the tone control. So when you're in the middle position and you're playing, you can just pull the tone control knob and that'll give you a more crystally clean sound. Also, the great thing about all these Ernie Ball Music Man guitars, and one of the reasons I think that they resonate and sound so great as far as having sustain, having a lot of depth, is um, there's no locking nut, even though there's a floating trem bar. What we did is we have locking tuners on the guitar, and um, those are really incredible, very easy to change strings and they work really great. Uh, and the whammy bar is, is amazing. This guitar has a huge sound. It's great for playing big chords. It's really beefy, it's really mighty. Sounds amazing. <laughs> This guitar has an amazing piezo sound, which basically takes the acoustic sound of the guitar and picks it up through the saddles of the bridge and gives you this incredible acoustic guitar sound. This is what it sounds like by itself. The way you would access that is you put the selector here in the up position. You can either connect the guitar to an amplifier and the piezo out to another amplifier or to the PA, or you can use a stereo cable and then split it down the line. But the great thing is that you'll have access to both the magnetic sounds and the piezo sounds. And what I like to do is combine the magnetic pickups with the piezo to get this great clean sound. So I have it set right now in the middle position of the magnetic, so it's both pickups, and I also am using the coil tap on the tone control, and then I'm selecting the middle position with the piezo magnetic selector, and this is what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. 